Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington. This is The Big Pitch. Industry trade shows are the true incubators of consumer product innovation. The Big Pitch recently traveled to the Surf Expo, the largest board sports and beach resort lifestyle trade show in the world. Kevin Harrington, an original shark on the hit TV show Shark Tank, is a deal maker, celebrity, and industry professional who has identified and helped launch over 500 products with over $4 billion in direct-to-consumer sales. Kevin and the Big Pitch team hit the Surf Expo floor and set their sights on inventors and exhibitors who might be sitting on the next big thing. The lucky few were selected and given a chance to pitch their innovative products to Kevin and industry professionals. Now it's time to see who will be the next big thing. Direct from the Surf Expo in Orlando, stay tuned and find out how you can get your hands on any of these top products from The Big Pitch. Hello, I'm Corey Bergeron and this is The Big Pitch. Kevin Harrington and his team traveled to Orlando to check out the best new products offered during the incredible Surf Expo. And now, it's your time to get big savings on some amazing new products. Inventors and companies from around the world showcase their best products to tens of thousands of wholesale and retail buyers. The Big Pitch is your big chance to see and purchase the best of the best new products selected from the show. So let's go out to Orlando now and see the first Big Pitch and see if their product is the next big thing. Nicole Smolin, I want to welcome you to the Big Pitch. Uh, you're with Beachtown Bags and you're from Edgewater, Maryland. Very interested to hear all about Beachtown Bags. So give us your Big Pitch today. Okay, um, actually we're right near Annapolis, Maryland. If you've never been, then you have to go because it's an amazing place. My bags are actually made in Maryland, about 40 minutes from my house. So um, I feel very fortunate to have found an incredible manufacturer um, right in Baltimore. And I have gone there to watch them in the middle of producing the bags in the assembly lines. The fact that they're made in the USA is a really big selling point. What makes my bags really unique is the material that they're made from. This is typically used in outdoor furniture, as you can see from the samples. So the way I market it is for the beach, the boat, and the pool. It's meant to be in the sun. It's great for the sand. Um, it gets wet without forming mildew. So if you think about your typical cotton canvas bag, you spill something in it or you get a wet bathing suit in it and then you know, a couple weeks later, it's disgusting at the bottom and it's hard to wash. This, you can put, you can get wet, you can hang it to dry, you can put it right in the washing machine. Um, it's literally meant to be outside. So pools, golf courses, country clubs. This bag, I can see being in all of those places. I've gotten it into yacht clubs, resorts. I just got it into a resort in Virginia. I'm hoping that being at this show, I'm gonna have a lot of other resort buyers that come up. And then inside of the bag, I'll actually come over there to show you guys. Um, the inside of the bag, every bag has an interior zipper pocket. Put your phone, your wallet, your car keys. There's also a D-ring for your keys so you don't lose them. Is, it, is this a, a really high quality, long lasting yes. kind of a product? It's actually called SunSure material. So the colors won't fade after years of continuous exposure in the sun, the wind, the heat, all of that. I mean, the colors are gonna last. It's not like you're gonna use this for a summer and then all of a sudden it's falling apart and you know, it's very high quality, expensive material which is something else that I need help with because I feel like the cost for the bag is a little bit high. Um, and that's kind of what something I want to reach out to you guys about. I think you hit the nail on the head. You know, it's a very high quality product, probably cost more than you, you know, would like at this point for sure. If you're going to get into the mass market, if you're going to go to the targets or the mm -hmm. home shopping yeah. networks, the QVCs, they're going to want to see probably something like this priced under $20. Now, that means we got to help you source this and uh, this part of, of our connections and, and abilities to bring some, some help to the table. Is this ready to launch now or you're already in some Absolutely. stores, right? Absolutely, I have right? a few thousand bags in my basement. This past summer, I got into a, a chain called Lulu Boutiques and it's um, headquartered in Virginia. They have 25 boutiques. They started me out in three and the bags did so well that they added me to three more. And then they said for the spring, in about February, they're gonna put me in about nine to 12. Another store in Rehoboth Beach, she called back every single week. She was ordering like 12 to 15 bags. She said that she couldn't even, she would be like, I'm sold out, I need more. Are you on Home Shopping Network or talking to the QVCs of the world yet? No, but I would like to be on something like that. Yes, I okay, because I think, I think they look for good quality products at a great price. Um, I think we got a good one here. If we can help you source it a little bit better, maybe a shot at uh, mm -hmm. some, some retail, mass mm -hmm. market. Yep. So. Um, 
as the volumes increase, the price comes down on your cost of goods, which gives you the opportunity to, to make more money. So exactly. thanks for coming to the big pitch. And Thank you for having me. Good job. Yeah. Congratulations. Cool. All right. All right. Beach Town Bags. Let me tell you something. If you go to the beach, there has never been a better bag made for you. This mesh is so heavy duty. If it were any thicker, it would be chain mail. I mean, it is just that durable. And it's breathable. So when you put your wet towels, your wet bathing suits, whatever it is, down inside the bag, you don't have to worry about it molding or mildewing. Even if you leave the bag overnight, you don't quite get to cleaning it out until the following morning. I know that happens in my family. Well, in this case, you don't have to worry about the mold and mildew growing inside the bag because it has all that moisture sealed in. It's breathable, and they've really constructed them beautifully with lots of different pockets. When you bring your cell phone to the beach, you want to make sure you keep sand out of it. It's got a great pocket right in there. You can put your cell phone in. It's still breathable, but it keeps that sand out. Really, really well-made bags from Beachtown Bags. And let me tell you something, you're only going to get them right now at the special price that we have, a very limited inventory on TheBigPitchTV.com. You've got to get there right now. We do have three different sizes. We've got the small one right here. We've got kind of the medium size, and then this really large one for the family. Pick the one that you want. It's at TheBigPitchTV.com. You've got to get yours right now before they're gone. Let's head back to Orlando and check in with Kevin Harrington and the Big Pitch team. Let's see what our next great product is. Let's return to the Surf Expo from Orlando. Here is Kevin Harrington. Jorge, welcome to the Big Pitch. Your company's called Rocache. I know you have something exciting to tell us today, so tell us about your product. Thank you so much. I want to thank you again for the opportunity to present on the Big Pitch. We're so excited to introduce to you and to everyone Rocache, the world's first and only rock and debris deflector for most skateboards. So let me start with the question. How many of you have ever been on a skateboard before? So the chances are pretty high that you've probably hit a rock before, right? It's the problem, it's the number one problem skateboarders have faced the entire time the skateboard has been around. And now we solve that problem. So I want to introduce Rocache. So Rocache is spring-loaded, so it mounts to the trucks of your skateboard. It does not change the way the skateboard performs. You can still do all your tricks, you can still flip your board, you can still do grinds on it, because of the spring-loaded action, it gets out of the way when you're lifting the board and doing tricks. It's ultra-high impact resistant material. You can still grind on it and go to town on it. It's not gonna change the way the skateboard performs. We have this standard model version of it. We also have a longboard version for it, for those longboards that, that are very popular these days. And also another popular choice is the penny board. So we have them for all the different kind of boards that you have. And um, we're very excited to, to bring this to market. We're launching it now here at Surf Expo and we're very excited. Thanks, Jorge. When it is coming to a rock, what is it, does it scoop up a rock or what, how, does it, how does it stop the rock from hitting the wheels? Great question. It basically acts like a barrier for the rock to get to the wheels. So the, the spring-loaded component doesn't come into effect when you're coming up against a rock. In fact, it'll just stay right there, and the rocks, there's a slight angle to the face of the deflector, so the rocks really just kind of bounce off. You, you hear the little click as you go through the rocks. Okay. So the rocks and debris are just kind of flying off to the sides, and it doesn't like get, it's exactly like a plow, okay. but because we mounted it to the board again, you can still turn left, you can still turn right. It doesn't change the way the board performs, and if you see something you want to try a trick, Go ahead, it's not gonna hinder you at all. I think you've got a great market for it, obviously. There's a big install base for anybody who's got a skateboard in general. Yeah. I dropped my kid off at college this weekend and there were skateboards everywhere. The, and yeah. I, I mean, you're, you've got an opportunity here to market to not only the, the end user of the board who's gonna purchase it, but just to mom in general. I mean, if they know their kid's skateboarding a lot, they're gonna wanna make sure they're safe when they're skateboarding. All three of the different models, we made it and tested it on a wide variety of trucks, so we say it's pretty universal. Fantastic. I think um, we give it some high high marks yeah. on retail side, do you yeah. think, for distribution Looks side? Looks great. Um, I like the fact that it's a retrofit to the existing marketplace. Yeah. The one thing that I didn't hear enough about maybe was how big is the market, how many skateboards are out there. Um, as of 2010, the United States skateboard market was about 13 million skateboarders, and that's just in the U.S. So it's a big market. It's a huge market in Australia, in Brazil, in China. 
I mean, there's millions and millions of skateboarders around the world, and it's just growing in popularity. Jorge, thanks for coming. Thank to you so pitch. much. Good I job, really man. appreciate it. it. Thank, Thank you. you. If you're a skater like I am, then you know that you're always scanning right in front of your skateboard to make sure there's no pebbles or rocks, nothing that's going to bring your skateboard trip to a very sudden close because any one of those pebbles hitting your wheel and that's it. Your board stops, you lurch forward. I have my share of scars from, uh, you know, elbows and knees skinning across the ground all because of a pebble. Well, the Rocochet is gonna stop that. It's brilliant. It mounts right to your trucks. It is spring-loaded, so when you're doing tricks, it gets out of the way, and it skims the ground almost like a snow plow to push all the rocks and pebbles out of the way. But if you look at the shape of it, you see it's almost like a, it's almost like a little frowny face. And why? So that each rock and pebble that it hits gets pushed off to the side and around your wheels. You never have to worry about that sudden moment again where there's a rock or pebble that your eyes missed or you just didn't make it past it. Check this out. I have some pebbles here on the table. As I put my uh, skateboard down and the Rocochet hits those pebbles, you can see it just pushes them right in front. It glides just about a sixteenth of an inch off the ground. But if you're doing a kickflip or you just hit the back of your board to come to a stop, see how the Rocochet gets out of the way? That spring-loaded mechanism allows you to continue to do tricks and it never stops you. It's a brilliant solution for any skateboarder and Yours is waiting for you right now at TheBigPitchTV.com. That's where you've got to go to get it. We don't have many of them, and there's a special price right now just for you, The Big Pitch TV viewer. Go to TheBigPitchTV.com and pick up your Rocochet now. We're going to go back to the Surf Expo in Orlando and check in with Kevin and the team, see what our next great Big Pitch item is. Now let's rejoin Kevin Harrington and The Big Pitch team from the Surf Expo in Orlando. Mike, welcome to The Big Pitch. Your company is called The Beach Gladiator, and from the look of the display there, I think we're gonna have a little fun on this one, so give us your big pitch. My name's Mike Vahey. My partner is my brother-in-law, George. He couldn't be here today because he's out gladiating. He's out on the beaches saving kids' vacations and helping surfers and boogie boarders uh, have a good day. When I was a kid, I would get rash in that area. People refer to it as chub rub, maybe you've heard that before, but there's actually a walk associated with it and it looks kind of like <laughs> this. A lot of kids get it and it's just having the wet board shorts or wet swim trunks um, rubbing and at, by the time it happens, you've got the chafing there, there's really no relief, it can, it can ruin your vacation. So we really haven't found anything uh, as we were growing up that would help. We tried certain things like Vaseline, Desitin, it just doesn't stay on. Uh, my brother-in-law and I are, are, are avid runners and we did find a product that was made for runners that when we put it on our kids worked wonderful. Stayed on all day, didn't wash off in the ocean and they never got the chafing again. So what we did was we partnered with them and we drew up a contract and we said, all right, we're just gonna go after the surfers, the boogie boarders, the kids on the beach. And my brother-in-law is a, is a surfer and a salesman, so he went around to some local surf shops, tried it out there. This past summer, over a dozen surf shops, just locally in South Jersey, six or seven hundred pieces sold. So what that told us is we can scale this and we can go, our goal is to be on every coastline of the United States in every beach store. I mean, we really want to be, like you see the point of purchase display here, it's small, it's compact, almost like the five hour energy success story in beach stores. We really think we can take it that far. In a, in a, a crystal ball analysis, you know, five years from now, what percentage of your business is women versus men and, and kids? If I had to just say one customer, it's moms buying it for their kids. Okay. But we also have that other realm of maybe about a third where it's, um, surfers and boogie boarders because they get the rash under their wetsuits, they get the rash against the board. Um, so retail distribution and where are you right now? How many stores total? 14. Small, and that, small and that at was, this point, yeah. just grown, but you've seen the traction. Right, we've seen the traction and, and that's why we're at the show today because we're hoping to come out of this show with quite a few more and you know, take it more than regional. Yeah. Surf Expo, I think, is the right place. Yeah. I think you'll, uh, a lot of people that will be here. Love yep. the packaging uh, in terms of um, getting the, a, a good feel for it. It, it's, it stands out on a retail shelf. You're going to pretty much be drawn to it, know what it know what it looks like, know what it is. And, um, you know, good luck. I think uh, this is a great place to be, the Surf Expo. And um, 
I'm glad to have you on the big pitch today. So thanks for coming down. Cool. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thanks all you guys. If you've ever been on vacation and you end up with any kind of chafing or what we call beach rash, it can very quickly ruin the rest of your vacation. Or maybe you're just not at the beach. We call this Beach Gladiator. It's meant to protect you from chafing and from rubbing, from beach rash. But I'm an avid hiker. I get out there in the mountains, and let's face it, when you're hiking long distances, you sweat and skin rubs together. And those are the two conditions that cause that chafing, that cause that rash. So it doesn't matter really if you're at the beach or elsewhere, if you're prone to that friction rash that you get, Beach Gladiator is going to save you from that. I love this. It's a very simple roll-on. So as I pull the top off here, you can see the roll-on applicator, and I'll just put a little on my finger. It's not greasy, it's not oily, it's like silk. It gives you the lubrication that you need without it being gooky or jelly or oily on your skin. It makes your skin just glide past each other. That's what you can expect from Beach Gladiator. It's the protection that you need so you don't end up with a ruined vacation, a ruined hike. You don't end up with that really uncomfortable, unparalleled pain, really, that comes with that beach rash. You can get yours right now at TheBigPitchTV.com. Pick up Beach Gladiator. It's at a special price just for you, the Big Pitch viewer. We're going to head back to the Surf Expo in Orlando, check in with Kevin and the team, and see what our next great Big Pitch item is. Now let's return to the Surf Expo in Orlando. Welcome to the Big Pitch. Steve Goble. Um, I think we're going to have some fun here today. Look at this. We, interesting. It's a product called Floops. Yeah. Huh? I want to hear all about yeah. it. Give us your big pitch. This is Floops. It is a new outdoor game. It's great for anywhere you take it. We have a couple of uh, a real uh, advantages over all the other games out there. Those advantages are this is not affected by sand, water, wind, or any of Mother Nature's elements. Floops is a tossing game. It's a ring toss game, but it has a twist to it, a triple twist. And they're all, uh, three wings are molded together. The idea of the game is you get one point for every one you, you circle. So that would be one point, and then the opposing team would throw, and that would be two, and the points offset. So the two for blue, one for red would be one point blue. So I want to see you get three now. <laughs> yeah, you, you get one, three. Two. You get three. <laughs> here's here's the chance. Uh, You're gonna yeah. get three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he's out. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. All right. Well, we, we got some no points, but no triple all right, crowd. that's fun. Uh, so the wind doesn't blow at this. There's no issues with sand. Where, where are you currently selling this? Is right now we are selling online at floops.com. We're also at a couple of different marketplaces. Uh, and in this fall, we're going to be signing a contract with our first major uh, retailer. Uh, we've got a commitment from them to sign a contract in November. So we'll be in our first big box store. Fun for all ages. You, got, you have smaller version, uh, hand uh, pieces for the little kids? <laughs> Actually, we recommend this for ages six and up. Okay. And uh, yeah, and up means anywhere. Our 93-year-old aunt plays with us all the time. Right. So it's a lot of fun. Fantastic. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people are looking for fun outdoor types games for the, the summer and also for tailgating. And this is a great opportunity. And the floops, the name, any significance? I mean. Flippin' loops. Flippin' loops. Flippin' the loops. Gotcha. Are you, so what is the, the secret? In the wrist? Ah, okay, I'll really show you. See, the secret is to hold it in the center here. Ah, so you have total control. Sort of, the other yeah. secret is to let it just drop on. Because right. what you'll find is that uh, floops is just as much luck as it is skill. Because when you start banging against the pylons there, they tend to bounce all over. So it was luck, not skill, that allowed you to do better. Right now. Is that what you're saying? When you when you miss when the, you miss uh, the whole thing, miss the whole thing, thing there, that's <laughs> skill. We're gonna edit that. Or lack gonna there all that out. Hey, all right, you, awesome. you were flooping bad. Yes, okay, I all right. Okay, fine. <laughs> well, maybe we can help with other distribution. We've got some big box uh, distributor uh, connections through this group here, as well as home shopping channels, uh, et cetera, around the, the U.S. catalogs, et cetera. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Th thanks any. for being on the, the big pitch today. Well, thank you. All right. Good, Good luck at the expo. Thank you.
Let's face it, trying to get the kids and family outdoors to do something fun can be a tough sell these days. I mean, kids want to walk around staring at their phone, other adults, you know, I mean, with the advent of mobile devices, it's really tough to get people out to have a good time. Well, now Floops has given you a reason because they've taken the classic ring toss game and they've made it into something much more competitive. They've really taken it to a new level. And better yet, it's self-contained. So you can carry it much like a briefcase to your next tailgate party, take it out to the park or picnic with the kids, take it to the beach, take it to your next family reunion. It's very easy to transport and set up, but once it is, you have all of the rings. Now take a look at this. This is not that standard ring toss game that you would expect when I set it, right? Each one of these has three circles to it, and as you toss it, it's not just about getting it around the post, it's about how many of those circles can you get around the post, because you get extra points. If you just get one, well, that's not as good as getting all three. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Floops, it's a wonderful game for you, for your family, for your kids, and it's only available right now at this exclusive price at thebigpitchtv.com. Get there right now to grab your Floops game before they're gone. There's only a limited quantity, so take advantage of that exclusive price right now. Thebigpitchtv.com. Let's head back to the Surf Expo in Orlando and see other great items that we have from Kevin Harrington and the Big Pitch team. Now let's return to the Surf Expo in Orlando. Brandon from Zen X10, welcome to the Big Pitch. You've got a product, uh, I can't tell what it is. So I'm really looking forward to hearing about the Big Pitch for your product. What's really nice about skateboarding is most people want to do it. Most people are scared to do it, but we make it actually simple. Some of you are probably familiar with land paddling. I think it's making a trend. When I go to California, nine out of 10 people don't even know you can push yourself with the paddle. Well, there's a couple things you're trying to achieve. One is the impact of the pavement, which we can absorb that. But this actual spring actually propels. So I can paddle, push, compress, and release. So for somebody that really wants to play, this is what we call a performance paddle. And that's kind of where the market we want to play in is, it's not just a land paddle, it's a performance land paddle. And so, like I say, it, it collapses, the kids can use it. I've got, you know, my kids like to go out. We're looking for more than a one-time purchase because we'll sell different spring types, different ratings, different little upgrades, little things to have them come back and, and follow. Um, we're looking to work with college kids that might just want to throw it in the backpack when they got to run to class so they can commute and scoot to class, you know, get around that way. Because you can cover some territory with this. Bring it on over. Let's take a look at it. How fast can you get rolling with something like this? Faster than you should be. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. The more grip you have and the more push you put into it, it's like a quick twitch muscle. Yeah. People that are faster than you release the same energy just quicker. Well, that's what this does at the end. It's just a quick flick and it. And that's why it's so good for a beginner, because you're just paddling. You never have to push, rebalance, push, rebalance. You're just... Yeah. Much more efficient than using your leg. It, it's a core workout. You can go out and it will work you. So people at SUP that want to cross train and prepare for other stuff and just want to hit the street can do this. I mean, it's, it's got a very, very broad base that it can hit. How big is the market in that size board? Longboarding's huge. There's yep. hundreds of companies. Okay. So again, if you want to ever sell longboards, you have to have something that caters or somehow gets their attention, which there's no reason why we wouldn't want to take some of that market. Because this is something you do with your kids. You know, it'll get people actually out there playing with their kids and enjoying their time. So fantastic. Cool. Great. Great Very job. cool. Yeah. OK, well, listen, um, I think you're looking for retail distribution now. You've come to the right place. You know, the Surf Expo is yeah. where the industry meets to, to take a look at new and innovative uh, product so um, good luck with with making all those connections and uh, we may have some some good uh, tie-ins for you also we have uh, from the um, some of the websites that are out there that we're, we're doing business with uh, retail distribution opportunities uh, let's uh, let's hook up look, look forward to, to, to working with you thanks for coming to big pitch land paddles have been around for a few years now but they're growing in popularity all the time 
What is a land paddle? Well, it's a way for you to stay in control of your skateboard while you're riding or give yourself a push, almost like you're in a canoe and you're paddling, thus the name land paddle. But I've never seen one before that's as cool as this one because it's spring loaded. Now that is my favorite feature of this. There are many features, but that is my favorite feature of this particular land paddle. Check this out. When you're up on your skateboard, all you do is you sink it into the floor. It has that big rubber foot on the bottom, which is customized to give you maximum grip. And by the way, those uh, little rubber feet there on the bottom are replaceable so you can get more if this one wears out. Use it to push off, and as you see, as I lean on it on my skateboard, you can see the flex. That means each time I use this paddle to push forward, it compresses that spring and then launches me forward faster and faster and faster with less effort. It's just using my body weight to compress that spring each time it hits the ground and goes by me. I love that about this particular one. The other really cool feature about this is the fact that it has the collapsible handle that you can take with you anywhere, and it is perfect for newbie skateboarders. If you want to get into skateboarding, or maybe your kids want to get into skateboarding, and you're concerned about scuffed knees and, and wrists and that kind of stuff, this is great for that because as you're up on your skateboard, it keeps you in control. You can keep it on the ground to help you stop, to help you start, to give you stability. It's almost like training wheels for the skateboard. So it works works really well for somebody who's brand new to skateboarding or somebody who's far more experienced and wants a little high action out of their land paddle, do something new and different and exciting while they're skateboarding. Listen, this is only available in a limited quantity at TheBigPitchTV.com. If you're interested in getting yours, you've got to get there right now. We did negotiate a special price for you, the Big Pitch viewer. Go to TheBigPitchTV.com right now to get your land paddle. We've run out of time on the Big Pitch. We just showcased five amazing new products from the Surf Expo in Orlando. And now, it's your turn to take advantage of great deals. If you missed any of the products featured here at the Big Pitch, go to thebigpitchtv.com now and check them out. For a limited time, every inventor is making their products available to you at incredible prices. You will never see these low TV prices again. Go to thebigpitchtv.com. Be sure to look for us next time when Kevin Harrington and the Big Pitch team select more products from incredible inventors direct from the floor of America's most amazing product trade shows. For more information, go to thebigpitchtv.com. It's your time. Go to thebigpitchtv.com now. Each of these products is available for a limited time at incredible prices. Brought to you by the Big Pitch and the Surf Expo.